Hello guys, so I had this idea of making a character where Princess will choose most of the things for me and I think it will be really fun and the character I made is totally different from how I would normally make. So stay till the end and enjoy the process with me. Let's get started. Let's go in Princess first. So we are in Princess now and I will search for clothes and pose and hairstyle and the first thing, the first image which will appear is what I'm gonna use. Like let me show you, I'm gonna type here clothes for women and these two first images are not the clothes so I will use the another third one because that's the cloth. And now I will type here pose and uh, the, again the first one is not just a single pose so I will use the second one and I'm not gonna, I don't know how I'm gonna draw that. Let's see how it goes. And then I'm gonna type here hair wig because here if I just type hairstyle it will be not that fun. So yeah I got this and this is the first one which popped up so I'm gonna use it. So here's the clothes, the pose and the hairstyle and to be honest these three are really not my preference, not my taste but let's see how it goes that's why it's, it's called challenge go in ivis paint now and let me tell you i like to go to the very corner of the drawing area and draw the mini pose there so that i can see if the proportions are right and can see the overall pose it's a really helpful technique you can use it as well if you want it will really help now first of all i will draw the pose i will start sketching now and it's just a quick sketch and omg the hands they are totally gonna destroy the piece i guess ah let's see well now i'm doing the second sketch and guys i will not waste you so much of time in the sketching part so i will cut so many parts here and there so that we can go to the coloring part so now the i'm just gonna keep quiet now and yeah see you soon with voiceover the hair part guys come here you see this brush whenever you have to draw long hairs like this and you wanna go crazy in the hairs which are flowing and stuff just use this pen I swear this is magical it's so great it will be like uh, it will make your drawing look much much better so just use this pen just color choose the in the inside color white and for uh, choose the outline color black and you got the pretty uh, flowing hairs like you can see here look at the flow of the hair and here too so use it it will be helpful and now the final line art the clean line art yay finally it's over now on to the coloring and the best part let me just fill in the base color real quick Now that I'm almost done with the base color, I'm gonna use a multiply layer above the skin layer and use a dark color. I'm gonna just color the skin dark and then use a light blending mode and use blue color and color it. It's and then I will uh, adjust both the blending modes. the shadow and as the light is coming from upright corner i'm gonna draw the light hitting her face and hands and other area this is how it's looking so far and using a airbrush and pink color i shaded this area of her hair because the light is coming from upper right corner again and again i'm gonna choose that pink color and uh, light up her hairs where the light is coming or we will see the effect of light uh, brightening her hairs and stuff so uh, yep and after that i'm gonna use a, a multiply tool and then gonna draw shade shadows in hairs i use i'm using the pen i already discussed about that's uh, the genius pen g pen and uh, now here i'm using this i'm dye pen 
and uh, because I want a very soft shadow here so yep, I'm using this pen as you can see it works wonder it do wonder and it's amazing I love this pen I'm in love with this pen so much I cannot get enough of it and here it is the shadow is done and now it's time to use a new blending mode and I'm gonna use this blue color because we need some color variation and you can mostly do a blue color in the shadow to give it more three dimensional look so after this I'm gonna use a pink color again and gonna do highlights that's gonna be here that's gonna act as a border as you can see I know her hair is dark purple but pink and purple goes really good together and with some hint of blue here and there it really goes great that's why I'm using these color combinations to get some color variation and now I'm just doing the highlights in her hairs and uh, going to making some small strands and also decreasing the uh, line art layer opacity because in here i usually keep no line art it's all i do when i draw it and now adding some small hair strands here and there and highlighting the shadows a bit more and giving it more making a line art kind of thing here as you can see dividing the strands and now onto the skin i'm gonna use this airbrush and an orange tone and a blending mode and uh, gonna draw you know just brush this area it's my favorite part of coloring the skin and i'm gonna draw some more darker shadows now because of course we are not going for a 2d look so much so much 2d look fat look so as much as color variations you can add just do that to give it more 3d and uh, more realistic look and adding some more blue highlights in the shadows and uh, yep just uh, playing around just trying to make the shading of skin look good and now i'm gonna change the color of line art because i do not like this dark black color in the line art i like the line art i like to keep line art a bit soft and like it i like to see it as it's blending in the skin so yeah changing the line art color is best and now on to the eyes i still have to learn to do better eyes to be honest i don't know how to make good eyes i'm just doing whatever i want taking inspiration from other artists and stuff and now on to the clothes i do not know how to make clothes very well i um, i have zero knowledge of clothes cloth folds so i'm not the best person to give you advice here so just watch the recording the time lapse yeah and now i'm gonna choose a pattern for her skirt and this is the closest pattern i could find and now i'm gonna erase this a bit and yeah here it is just change the blending mode a bit experience experience what the fuck experimenting with the blending mode and also i shouldn't have to use that anyways i hope why youtube does not uh, take action on me for uh, seeing that word now i'm just getting rid of the line art in the clothes and adding this uh, necklace it's giving a very cute go a uh, goth look and because i think her whole character is giving a gothic look so it i think i really got some good combinations here so this is the final look i think i actually got good combinations and it's giving very goth feel 
Bitch, if it was me, I would have never made a character like this. But yeah, that's it for this video. And I'll see you later till then. Bye.